A glimmer of hope is what Governor Kathy Hochul is calling this leveling off of new COVID cases as statistics show that the state is starting to fight back this Omicron surge. Looks like we might be cresting over that peak. The continuing there's cases are slowing down. The rate of increase is slowing down, um, but they're still high. They're still high, but we are not at the end. But I wanted to say that this is, uh, to me, a, a glimmer of hope, a glimmer of hope in a time when we desperately need that. The governor says this trend can be seen in New York City, where cases are starting to plateau. The news comes as acting state health commissioner Dr. Mary Bassett announced that the state will no longer be requiring localities to contact trace COVID cases. As it stands right now, both the New York City Health Department and the New York City Test and Trace Corps confirmed that the city will continue to contact trace cases, saying that their mission ends when the pandemic does. The health department, though, will be releasing new guidance on Wednesday to help people navigate what comes next when they test positive for COVID. Uh, the big change for New Yorkers is that if you test positive, you should no longer expect a call from, uh, from your health department. Um, you should instead follow the isolation and quarantine guidance that will be made uh, uh, public tomorrow. The Public Health and Health Planning Council also approved on Tuesday the new COVID booster mandate for all health care workers. This booster requirement will go into effect once filed with the Secretary of State's office. However, members on the council expressed concerns over the possible impact this requirement will have on already existing staffing shortages. I struggle with balancing what I believe is the right thing to do, which is to get the booster against our ability as a provider to, to provide care at this point. Governor Kathy Hochul also announced that the state will not be renewing the eviction moratorium, which expires on Saturday unless the state receives more federal aid. The state has already distributed millions in housing relief. Live from Midtown, I'm Morgan Mackay, Fox 5 News. Lori and Steve, back to you. All right, thanks, Morgan.